I've been watching a lot more anime than I usually do, since I like the background noise while I anime. And it got me wondering what it must have been like to be one of Japan's mightiest warriors. So I created this guide on how to survive being a samurai in early Japan. Now let's get started with your Japanese man life in ancient times. You were just born into a pretty high class family. Good for you. And you are destined to be a great samurai like your father and your father's father and your father's father's father. Anyway, your education as a young child focused on martial arts, literature, calligraphy, and tea ceremonies. With the samurai code known as the Bushido being deeply instilled into you from a young age, emphasizing loyalty, honor, and self-discipline. Now, once you get all the lame things out of the way and become a man at the rightful age of 13, most of your teen years will be spent in intense martial training. This included mastering the use of weapons like the katana, bow and arrow, and horseback riding with a spear. As a samurai, you needed to be skilled in various combat techniques, emphasizing both individual combat and battlefield tactics. Once you have completed your training and have become a formidable warrior, it was time to serve a daimyo, who in turn served a higher ranking lord or the Shogun. The core tenets of the Bushido emphasize absolute loyalty to one's lord. Samurai were expected to prioritize honor over personal well-being. While serving your lord, you are expected to die for him, fight for him, and kill for him. And don't worry, your chances of surviving a battle were pretty low. And also, don't lose because if you do, you bring dishonor to your family, and deserve to stab yourself in the stomach and get decapitated. In a ritual called seppuku, but at least you are able to enjoy the social status of a warrior. Samurai occupied the top tier of the Japanese social hierarchy, but within the samurai class, there were distinctions between high-ranking and lower-ranking samurai. Samurai enjoyed the privileges of land ownership and the right to bear weapons. However, they were also responsible for maintaining order in their territories. Many samurai received stipends in the form of rice from their lords, and they often engaged in agricultural activities to support themselves while battles weren't happening. And if you were cool enough, you could have pursued the arts during peacetime, contributing to the development of Japanese culture. After all the warfare and death, in times of peace, samurai were expected to engage in cultural activities, fostering a well-rounded education in addition to their martial skills. If being a samurai still sounds cool, which it is, it was almost an instant game over if you were a samurai during the late 19th century where Japan underwent a period of rapid modernization and the Meiji Restoration saw the decline of the samurai class. The Meiji government abolished the samurai's privileged status. The power and status that countless generations of your family worked so hard to gain was lost in a single generation, and instead, Japan integrated a more centralized modern military. There is no doubt that the samurai were some of the most important figures in Japanese history and culture, but it was still incredibly tough. So stop hugging your half-naked anime girl body pillow and accept that the age of the samurai has ended. And even if it wasn't, you still probably wouldn't survive being a samurai. If this survival guide helped you on your next playthrough as a samurai, please like and subscribe and I will see you in another episode.